Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from killing Blood Reavers for 10 hours. Found in the ancient prison within God Wars dungeon, these Blood Reavers are at a combat level of 174. The examined text reads, a strange and twisted demon. But essentially, these Blood Reavers are a type of demon in the service of Zeros, and they can only be found in God Wars dungeon. Of course, you can also see them when they are summoned during Nex's blood phase. These Blood Reavers do attack using a spell that resembles Blood Rush, uh, and if they do happen to hit you, then they can heal themselves based on how much they hit you for. So that is why for this video I went with a range setup and I was praying magic the whole entire time. One thing I did forget early on in my first inventory was a herb sack, and that is important to bring if you're going to be camping these things because they do drop unnoted Aventos, Renars, Snapdragon, and Torstals. As it goes for the rare drop table, as you can see on screen here, this was my first rare for the video, if you want to call it that. This is Ancient Ceremonial Legs. Don't get too excited over that 350k price tag. Uh, it's unfortunately not worth that much, and I didn't really know the actual value of the Ancient Ceremonial pieces until I got to the very end when I sold them in the Grand Exchange. You do have the opportunity to receive an ancient ceremonial mask, top, legs, gloves, and boots, and each of them is the same rarity at 1 in 640. And you may have noticed on screen that I did receive some Nihil shards. It's either pronounced uh, Nihil or Nihil, but either way, they come in a quantity of 2 to 7, and uh, it's a pretty decent price, and it is a rarity of 1 in 128 as well. And finally, the only other drop worth mentioning, I'd say, that is 1 in 128. Uh, lastly would be the blood essence. The shard drop essentially is dropped by all the NPCs in the ancient prison and when you use a pestle and mortar with it you can get it to turn into dust which will in return create the ancient brew which you do need 85 herb lore for. Also important to note that 250 of these shards on screen here are used to create a zerite crossbow so that's pretty cool. Wonder if I'll ever buy that in the future. The Blood Essence drop, which is also 1 in 128, becomes untradeable uh, once you activate it, and it gives a 50% chance to craft an extra Blood Rune per Dark Essence Fragment. You don't get any extra XP, but each Blood Essence can craft an extra 1,000 Blood Runes before being used up, so it's really useful. And other than that, the Ancient Ceremonial set itself doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. I think it's more so just fashionscape um, than anything, but again, it does look pretty cool, so hopefully it stays, you know, somewhat steady in price, but we'll see over time. Now, as it goes for killing these Blood Reavers, I did want to use range the whole entire time because they only have 55 defense against range. Uh, they have 300 defense against magic, so I would advise never using magic here. And they have about across the board anywhere from 20 to 120 defensive bonus uh, in regards to melee. So I'd really just either use range or melee here, blowpipe, twisted bow, or whip or rapier, whatever you prefer. It is important to note, though, that their max hit is a 20 and they only use magic so as long as you're praying magic you'll be good uh, whether you're avoiding them or just killing them in general as it goes for the inventory for this video I just brought three bastion potions as well as super restores to help my prayer out I mean you can just use prayer potions but I just had super restores in the bank so I went with them of course I mentioned before that the herb sack and the gem bag is needed and if you want to bring a ring of wealth here uh, you can get some coin drops as well so I figured I would just bring that along luckily for me most of the drops here are either gonna be put in the herb sack the gem bag or they're just going to be stackable or noted so you can kind of see that this whole video I didn't want to bank anything because it was just easier to leave the drops in the inventory and bank anything that was in the herb sack or the gem bag um, you know sometimes I would bank accidentally but overall everything was just kept in the inventory and I would bank on average like once every single hour so that's not too bad I think I bank like a total of 10 times uh, during this video you may also notice on screen that every single time I got a hard glue scroll drop, I would type out when I got it and at what kill that I got it, because uh, the old school RuneScape wiki has not released the drop rate of hard clues here. After spending 10 hours here, I can safely say that the drop rate for a hard clue would either be 1 in 128 or 1 in 100, uh, because I think at the end I was nearing 2,000 kills and I got pretty close to 20 hard clue scrolls. So they are very common here. Unfortunately, I did not complete any of them during this video. The reason for 
for that is because I think more people are just kind of interested in the drops from the actual blood monsters themselves rather than the clue scrolls. And it would have taken a while to do 20 hard clues, so I'll make up for that in the next loot video. But uh, overall, I did count them, and hopefully that'll help out the drop rate for the wiki. And speaking of drop rates, after 710 kills, I finally completed my ancient ceremonial set, so that was pretty nice. So after this, it was just all going to be duplicates, so we can just add those to the price check. I tried to get every uh, blood essence drop on video as well that is a quality drop alongside the shards but you know once you get it one or five or ten times you know it just get it gets a little repetitive so it is what it is but uh, yeah these were really enjoyable this was an honestly a pretty afk experience i was killing uh lobstrosities on my iron man the whole entire time which was a lot more clicking than i anticipated so this really worked out for my main account um although i would kill them pretty quickly what i would do is i'd kind of attack five of these blood reavers at one time so that my venom from my mutagen would stack up on every single one of them and while i would kill one by one it would uh you know slowly lower their health Health and it would kind of be a win at the end of the day because I'd just be getting so many kills all at once and then I'd just have to pick up my drops all at once and then restart, uh, you know, aggroing five of them on me. So yeah, pretty good range XP as well. I think I got easily over a million range XP with this blowpipe. I was using amethyst darts and my gear choice was pretty strange, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the times I would leave my max cape on, forget to put on my assembler, and I'd lose out on that range DPS. Luckily for me though, the uh, max cape is a prayer cape perk, so I mean, at least it saved me some prayer potions uh, over time. And as we now approach seven hours into this 10 hour grind, standing next to me in that clip was the spiritual warrior, a new form of them. You know, it's kind of a Zeros spiritual warrior. On top of this, they added spiritual rangers and spiritual majors that have a little bit of a different drop table compared to the other spiritual mages and rangers and runescapes. So I do plan on doing loot from 10 hours of all three of them. That will be later this week. So I am excited about that. Uh, it'll probably be very similar similar drop tables, but I do promise to do every single hard clue scroll in that video, so those 10 hours will be uh, loaded with uh, hopefully a bunch of rares as well as a lot of clue scrolls. You know, it's a good week for Mr. No Sleep when they add new monsters into this game. Uh, this was a little bit later than I anticipated as it goes for uploading this video. I know that they've been in the game close to three weeks now, so, you know, a little late to the party, but nevertheless, uh, it's better to be late than to never kill them at all, I suppose. I also plan on killing Nex uh, in the far future, probably probably uh, at the start of next month or in the middle of next month, so be on the lookout for that. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, loot from 10 hours of Blood Reavers have been completed. It took about uh, one day and then one hour the very next morning. I tried to finish this all in one day, but I couldn't quite do it. Here we are, though, with the price check. As we can see, just about 30 to 40 of each of the herbs that I did mention. Uh, 2,000 pure essence, 300 adamant bars, close to 200k coins. Um, decent amount of runes, 25k air runes, 5 K Astrals. Overall price check coming out to be 3.3 million. And now it is time to price check the ancient ceremonial pieces, the blood essence, as well as the shards. We did end with 14 blood essence and 73 shards. Approximately 2,000 KC, 6.6 uh, .6 mil from the price check shown there. But again, we do have to sell these items in the Grand Exchange to see the real profit because these prices are not accurate. Would have been really nice had they been accurate, though, because we would have made 1 mil an hour here. So that would have been incredible. But uh, luckily, the blood essence did sell for what they were shown for because they are really useful compared to all these other items. I think the ancient ceremonial pieces were selling for like 80% or 70% less than the uh, price shown, so that was a huge cut to the profit. I mean, going from 9.9 .9 mil profit from this video to, well, not quite that after everything was sold. I didn't uh, include the cost of supplies because this was really just to show you guys the drops from these monsters. If you did want to deduct the cost of scales and potions, it'd probably be about 1 to 2 mil, but this video really wasn't for profit it was just kind of to explore the drops you're going to get here and after fast forwarding and selling every single item the 9.9 .9 mil profit does come out to be just about 6.6 .6 million so you're looking at about 600k an hour killing these monsters i got a lot of range xp and close to 20 hard clue scrolls as well so yeah i really did enjoy this monster enjoyed this update and i hope you guys enjoy the video so with all that being said thank you very much for watching alongside the videos i am trying to live 
live stream again, but I'm currently locked out of my Twitch account, so, um, you know, I'm just kind of waiting on their response. I had a two-step enabled, and then I changed my phone number, so I'm just unable to access my account. If anyone happens to know a Twitch admin or Twitch bond personally, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Maybe we can get access to my Twitch account sooner, and hopefully we can start uh, live streaming these loot videos as soon as possible. All right, till next time, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. No Sleep, out. Oh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with uh, another video.